Farrell and William posted this picture of a flood in Pakistan. The flood, of course, is they're getting more frequent because of the rise of the oceans. And look, they put a monetary value on this devastation to human lives. They're talking about the GDP. Reporter Shannon Osaka at the Washington Post reported that the Pakistan floods are called a climate catastrophe. On Tuesday, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres made a video appeal for aid to Pakistan saying, quote, let's stop sleepwalking toward the destruction of our planet by climate change, end quote. They used to say 500 people were killed, but now they talk about how much money it costs. It was a sudden noticeable shift about 25 years ago to use monetary values. Here in the New York Times archive in September 1954, you can see there was a terrible storm that battered the coast of Maine. The hurricane left death, destruction, and darkened cities. At least two persons drowned in the heaviest rainfall. There were reports of several other possible deaths. Most of the coastal areas were without electricity. The entire article has no mention of the cost of the storm in financial terms. It talks about the cost of the storm in human terms, people without electricity, lives lost. That's what mattered until the sudden change happened. My father would complain to me. He'd say, you cannot put a value on human lives. He hated that change. GDP, the gross domestic product, was not the benchmark of a good economy at one time. I looked into the history of the GDP, again in the New York Times. If you want to know why GDP matters, put yourself back in the 1930 period, which was right after the Wall Street collapse, where we had no idea what was happening to our economy. What has changed more recently is that GDP has been actively challenged by a variety of world leaders, especially in Europe. How nice it must be to live in a more progressive place than the United States. The GDP has not only failed to capture the well-being of a 21st century society, but it's also skewed global political objectives towards the single-minded pursuit of economic growth. The economists messed everything up. Of, of course, there is a, the country called Bhutan. The gross domestic happiness is their benchmark for their country. I'd love to go to Bhutan someday, but then again, I also want to leave them alone to enjoy their happy lives, you know, and not be despoiled by tourists. Anyway, these, these things are recent, using money, monetary terms to describe a tragedy of lives, using growth and GDP as the must-have benchmark. They're recent. People did not like it. They didn't approve of it. But humanity just blundered on. What my father would say is, you can't stop progress. You can't stop progress, Wendy.